It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? Tonight, boys and ghouls, we have a special treat. We have a soul-sucking creature of darkness. She'll tear your heart right out of your body. If you're guessing my ex-wife, then you're wrong. It's the Merlith from Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. Um... WizKids.com and painted. Anyway, that's what one would look like painted by somebody who paints slightly better than me. Um, this did retail for $5.99. That's why I paid for it. I found it in the range of $5 to $6. So that was pretty norm for the course. And then let's open this up and see what we got going on. Now I have one of these already for Reaper. Um... A little skinnier in the snake part of it, just going to be honest with you. Um, kind of liked it better. Didn't like the price better, though. The, the price on that one was way crazy. This, I might trim a couple of the arms off and make it a llama. Um, so, yeah, might do that. But you can't really argue the quality you get for the price. This miniature is, or the base, is a two-inch round base, it looks like. It is thin, and that's what I think about those. Um, <laughs> you heard me complain about those enough, so I'm going to spare you this time. Um, looks like we do got a bit of a, a separation right there where uh, the two parts were glued together. It looks like uh, that's pretty much about it, though. I mean, this should clean up pretty easy. Um, let's see here. But uh, there's, there's quite a bit of detail in this, and it's kind of cool that they're uh, they're starting to get some of the darker stuff from the uh, old monster manual out there. Now, I would really piss myself like an overexcited dog if they came out with like the lemurs, the manes, and uh and and stuff like that from you know a bunch of the type one and type two demons from the first edition monster manual um yeah they're i mean I, I i would i would go pretty bonkers about that um not griping too much about this i think it's pretty cool um like i said probably not going to be a merolith in my campaign might clip about four of the arms off then I got four arms to basically kit bash other stuff for, and then probably turn her into a llama and uh, and see where we go from there. Um, that would be cool. Like I already got like this really awesome metal merolith, so I'm probably gonna roll with that. Um, anyway, let's check out what we got as, as far as size goes. So, like I said, that's usually gonna be on a two inch round base. So we'll just kind of put it right there, and then we'll have a uh, then we'll have a one inch there. So that's that's pretty much what we're dealing with as far as size comparison goes between the two models. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, she's pretty tall. She's probably, I want to say, probably about two inches tall as well. So, you know, she's, she'll make a good, uh, she'll make a good boss monster for your campaign, you know. So there is that. Um, definitely going to have fun painting. Um, not as much fun as I might have, probably cutting arms off. Um, it's going to be some sort of like demented model making version of probably pulling wings off a fly or some shit like that. But anyway, going to have some fun doing it. At this time, I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, if you did enjoy the video, hit a thumbs up. If you didn't really care too much for it, that's all right. You can hit a thumbs down too. I won't be offended. Um, hurt a little bit inside yes but not have never offended and then uh <laughs> and then if you uh want to see stuff like this um you know on a regular basis and want to keep an eye out when something new comes out i'll buy it so you don't have to and then you get to see me open it and go ha, ha that idiot spent that much money on that ah i'm glad i didn't buy that um and then you can you can basically do that to um me so <laughs> anyway um you have any uh ideas of what to open up next um anything that uh calls out to you just put it in the comments below and i'll see if what i could do to try to acquire it and open it up and you get to hear me either shower it with praise or or just basically complain about like i'm dying or something um anyway thanks for watching